Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday and it is Bargain Beer Review Time. But before we get cracking on the beers, I just want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I hope you'll get from Santa what you want and I hope that 2015 brings you all a health, wealth and happiness and thank you very much for watching my shows during 2014. It really means a lot guys. Right then, up today on the beer review we have from our friends at Shepherd Neem, it's a Rudolph's Reward. Tip scales at 3.8% ABV. This cost me 99 English pence from supermarket chain Lidl. Um, from the Brewer's Choice range, nice clear bottle. Um, artwork, bit, I'd say maybe a bit sort of gothic y on that, not necessarily Christmas cardy type artwork but let's get this popped and poured into a nice glass now a little bit of smoke not much got this out of the fridge about half an hour ago so it is like genuine cellar type temperature at the moment we've got a uh, non nucleated glass so let's give this a glug and see how she pours let's put that down a bit before I get her bit more head on it and once again there is the artwork right always interested in shepherd because they put some notes on the back so this uh, it says it's going to be Auburn chestnut hoppy spicy fruity spicy fruity refreshing well that's quite a lot of uh, descriptive so that pours a one and a bit finger medium to tight walk just slightly off white head Colour wise, yeah, that is a light chestnut. Actually, you could maybe put that down as a bit of a off copper colour. Carbonation wise, not too busy, which you'd probably expect from a ale of this particular type. So let's go for a sniff. Little bit of hops on the back end. It's going to be East Kent Goldings. Not necessarily fruity and spicy as what you might expect from a, you know, perhaps a more expensive uh, Christmas type ale that's got plenty of like, you know, oomph of, um, you know, maybe plenty of molasses, allspice, um, cinnamon, something like that. But it's a bit more mild than that. Maybe a hint of all of those in there, but not, you know, sort of, I'm talking about minuscule, not... You know, not in absolute uh, abundance, but let's go in for a taste. Cheers, everyone. That is fruity, actually. Um, mild sort of Christmas pudding type fruit on that. It's quite refreshing. Bittering kicking in now, so probably about a three, and a, three out of five for me on the bittering. Not overly sweet at all, so probably maybe a a one and a half, two for me on that. Let's give it a bit of a swirl and a twirl. Not fantastic lacing, a um, little bit of alcohol legs, not a, not a uh, great deal. Very sessionable. I'm quite cleansing on the palate. Um, right, would I buy it again? Um, yeah, I think I would. 99 English pence, I said from Lidl. Uh, short term run just for Christmas of uh, of this year, so um, might not see it from sort of January, February. Um, well, yeah, that bitter is actually kicking in even more at the moment. Score out of 10. Um, I don't want to be a bar humbug, so I will probably be a little bit generous in the Christmas spirit and give that a 7 out of 10. I think if it was any other time of the year when we are all a bit more uh, subdued and uh, miserable, it might have been a 6. But as it's Christmas, we'll give it a 7. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you again soon for another Bargain Beer Review right here. Thirsty Thursday. Cheers for watching everyone, and we'll see you again soon. Be seeing you.